Hi, this is part two of the mantle, August the 2nd, 2020. This is Susan Bizal, voice of one crying in the wilderness. And like I said, I am at the Compton Station here in Compton, Southern California in the United States. And I was talking about mantles. And for my key text, I was using 2 Corinthians, I mean, not second, I'm sorry, not second Kings, the uh, second chapter of second Kings. This train is going, it's, it's already laid out. And the signs are up. It tells you what time these tracks have been laid here. So when this train comes up, you don't have to worry about this train going um, to Redondo Beach. But this train will take you to where you can connect at the next station, which is the Willowbrook station. You can get off and get on the green line and it will take you to Redondo Beach. The next, if you go one way, it runs into Redondo Beach. If you go the other way, it runs into Norwalk. Destinations that have already been set so when you pick up this, when he picked up this mantle, whatever he needed, whatever he didn't need, wherever he was, whatever he was lacking, this mantle, the anointing on his life, like I said, it's like a mantle. It's like a, uh, like you've been endowed, you have been endowed with power from God. Hallelujah, to do those things that you need to do for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Yes, so that's what that means. You've been empowered by God to rise above the natural stuff here on the earth and to do a supernatural work. It gives you supernatural abilities. Now, I, I am a person that grew up watching Batman, by, by Spider-Man and his amazing friends and the Justice League with Wonder Woman and Superman and all of that because I need to give... Jesus uh, gave parables and a lot of times uh, he gave uh, the parables in his day were about like seeds and, and, and sheep and stuff like that that they knew. So I want to use some today. I want to use the uh, Marvel comics and the Justice League. And, and uh, I want to kind of use that. You know, um, we all love a good hero. And we love the fact that they come in and Thor touches down and, and, and uh, the Black Panther and all of these people and how they come in and they help mankind and defeat mankind against the forces, these evil forces. So what I want to let you understand is, do you not know that you've been equipped to do work like that? Because we now, even though we're here in this body, our spirits have been reborn and we are ambassadors now on earth for the kingdom of God. We represent the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. We have been given power by our father, the king. Hallelujah. And, and we to do works that we could not do. Hallelujah. Without the power of God. Hallelujah. Because we are citizens of the kingdom and it is a kingdom of power. It's the kingdom of, of not just word, but power. Hallelujah. The word of God is full of power. In the name of Jesus. And so now that you have this mantle, you've been gifted. You've been um, showered with, with all kinds of wisdom and insight to stuff that other people don't have. You know, and so just think that here is a man. Jesus talked about him. He, he had like passions just like you. He was a man just like you. But he prayed and it didn't rain for three years. Can you imagine that? Walking in your mantle, your calling. So now that Elijah, now there's the other train that's coming back down the tracks and it's gonna run 
it's going to stop in between but it's going to take you the final destination will be downtown long beach maybe a block or two from the actual from from the beach from the beach line and it's going to stop in between so if i'm not going to long beach then i don't get on that train you know, and so these things have been done. They've been laid out. They've been mapped. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Being in the right destination. Because, see, I could be on that train that's finna go to Long Beach. But now that I done picked up my mantle, and God wants to reroute me. So that means. I'm going to get off at the next station, right? And I'm going to get on the next, I'm going to get on the train. And I may have to get off of that train and get on to another connection to get where I need to be. So because we, we were in life and we went different directions, God has to reset us. He has to put us back on the right path. Can I use it this way? One train is the Christians on their way to heaven. The other train going the opposite way is the people that have not been born again that are on their way to hell and death and destruction. Notice I didn't say anybody anything about being morally right. Because you have to be born again. You have to be born again. When this mantle, you might say, well, I'm in a situation right now. When I get everything worked out, then I'll get saved. Can I let you know that that is the devil's will that you never get in it? You would never work things out. If you could work things out or if I could work things out on my own, then what was the purpose of Jesus coming? What was the purpose? If man could do it, love your pastors. God knows some of you got some good pastors, some good pastors out there, faithful, faithful men and women. Hallelujah, interceding, praying and fasting, doing the works of God. Can we use that same parable? The pastors that are that are that have God have called and equipped that are doing the work of God. Hallelujah. Yes, they're doing the things of God, building the kingdom, winning souls and preaching and praying and casting out devils and using their gifts for God and giving God all the honor. They have turned from their wicked way. Hallelujah. And they are doing the works of God, the works of their father. Can I say they're on the train? going that way they're going that way hallelujah on that track and can i say that the pastors on the other train track behind that that are going that way could i can we use an example they're the ones that god didn't call they are they are full of ungodliness and unrighteousness they work it hallelujah they work witchcraft hallelujah Yes, they in a cult. They have a cult. They've built up their own kingdom in their own name. Can we say that that could be them on their way to hell, death, and destruction? What side of the track are you on today? Glory be to God. Because it's really that simple. I just want to give a parable. Because, you know, for so many, for so long, you know, people try to make the, the gospel so difficult and so hard to understand. It's really not. This is a beautiful, um, when you come in and you see the words Compton, the letters when you're riding by on the train. You know, this is a transportation hub. Compton is a transportation hub because it's centrally located.
Can I ask you again? Because if you are on the other side, going to hell, death, and destruction, and God allows, a, and you have your, say you have your grandmother's mantle. That mantle is going to work regardless. Because the gifts of God are given without repentance. And it's going to do what it's supposed to do. Do you know many, 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 many of your ancestors that have gone on, have prayed and asked God to bless their children and down through the generations. Hallelujah. And that they would come to know you and the God and the pardon of their sins. And you wonder why you can't sleep. Because you know you're not doing wrong. You know you're doing wrong. Even though big mama's gone. You know, you, you know the way. And God is calling you. God is holding you accountable today. He's extending his hand towards you today. Today is the day. Today. While the blood is still running in your, in your veins. Don't think that you can fix everything you can't. Come as you are. Your mantle. Your mantle. Your mantle will help you. Your mantle will help you get in line. Your mantle. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. That mantle is working. Now, if you don't never work it, it's working. It'll pass to your children. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God told Abraham, get from among your kin's people. Hallelujah. And I'm going to take you to a land that you should be in. Because now that you have picked up the mantle of God and laid your will down and have picked up God's will for your life, you may be living in the wrong state. You may be in the wrong city. You may be in the wrong country. Uh-huh. Because remember, Jesus said greater works you're going to do than I did. We can't do the greater works without the power of God. We can't do greater works in the flesh. The sons of Sceva, they decided we're going to we're going to start us uh, we're going we're going to do the what what Paul did. And those demons, they cried out. They said, "Jesus we know and Paul we know, but who are you?" And they jumped on him. Could that be what's going on in your house? You trying to do it your way in your name? Why don't you accept the mantle? Well, I'm not worthy of the mantle. We don't see that in nowhere in Scripture. But guess what we do see? We see Jeremiah say, but I'm, I'm just but a child. I can't do this. We hear Moses say, give excuses. Right? We hear him give excuses. And they're saying, I can't do this. We hear the children of Israel out there when they sent the 10 spies in. Joshua and Caleb said, we are well able. The other ten say we just we just like grasshoppers to in their sight. We can't do this. And all of that generation died out, except for Cain and Abel. I mean, excuse me. It's except for Joshua and Caleb. And they were the only two that got to enter into the promised land. Come on, pick up your mat. Somebody need to pick it up today. You, you need strength. You feel weak. You feel so defeated. Pick up your mantle. Say yes to your mantle. Embrace your mantle. 
Embrace who God wants you to be. Embrace the call of God on your life unapologetically. Stop apologizing for who you are. You only have to be down here in this world for a little bit. I'm just different. I know you're different. God wants you to be different. Because you're in the world, but you're not of the world. Neither, he told us not to even love the things of the world. He said, this is how you would know that if the love of, of the Father is in you or not. Any man that loved the world, the love of the Father is not in him. You may lose your taste. Just even a simple movie. TV on, kids watching, everybody watching it. You, you might laugh here or there when you hear them laugh. But your mind and your heart is gone. There's no enjoyment. You are detaching from the things of the world. That mantle will detach you from things of the world that used to give you pleasure. You used to find pleasure in this. And you used to find pleasure in that. Now there's no pleasure. Your mantle will get you, pick you up and put you back in place. It's time for us to grow up. It's time for us to stop to be so dependent on people. It's good that you have a pastor, but your pastor is not your God. Your pastor have work they have to do. Some pastors, they, 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 they're walking in apostolic and they can't even really kind of walk in that, embrace that like they need to because they got to be there to babysit everybody. It's time for somebody to get to, to mature. Because mature people, you, you need to be mature to handle the mantle. God, you may say like, well, we are, we are self-isolating and social distancing. Like I said, depending on where you are, you know, this is going out to different people, hey, you know, around the world. So depending on where you are. Because you're going to have to be in some type of isolation. Even if you're on your job, you can still be in isolation. Because God's going to bring you into a quiet season. Because he needs to talk to you about the mantle. He needs to teach you about it. He needs to t show, point you out in, in the Bible, someone, for you to see it. Sometimes we haven't seen what God has given us. We haven't seen it. And we need, to, we need to be able to see a version of it. This may not be my whole version, but at least I got an idea of what it looks like. He called you to be a prophet. Go back and look in the books of the prophet. See how they moved and see how they operated. See how he sent them to stand before kings. And I know you, you may say, well, that's the Old Testament. We're, we're not under the law. No, but that's a foundation. You need, you need foundational scriptures. Because when you begin to, uh, when you begin to prophesy and you begin to teach, you begin to evangelize, you need to know all of it. You need to have the foundation. When Jesus was teaching the multitudes, it was so easy. He didn't have a children's church. He didn't tell Peter, Peter, you get all the kids together, you take the kids over there. You know why? Because they all knew the Torah, the books of Moses, the books of law. They knew that, and they had been raised with that. Hallelujah. They knew it, and they taught their children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Jesus, and Jesus said, I didn't come to destroy the law, but I am the fulfilling of it. All of this was prophesying about me coming here. And I'm here. That's your basis. When you get, when, when, when you get ready to say, thou shalt not suffer which to live. You say, well, where did you get that? From that's foundation. That's foundational stuff. See, not 
the, the law didn't go anywhere. We are not under the law. We're under grace and mercy. But the law still stands. It's just that we don't get the penalty if we don't keep it. Because we can't keep it. There's no way that we can keep all of it in the flesh. So we have to have that supernatural power to be able to keep it. Because if, if all you got at home is the New Testament, can I let you know you're missing, you missing the foundation? Look in the look when you look in the New Testament, look how many times Jesus refers to Old Testament scriptures. Well, I can eat anything I want to eat. Sure you can. That's why you have the high blood pressure and the high cholesterol and sugar diabetes. Well, I just got to pray over it. That's, that's fine. Pray over it and keep eating it and just see what happens. Because there are laws that you are a natural, but you have a physical body that has to be taken care of. Because what good is having the mantle and having the double portion of the glory of God and then you sick in your body for, for just being rebellious because that mantle is going to say don't eat that. Stuff is going to change in your life. You go, where, you, where you was having this all the time, it's going to change. It will change. You cannot have a mantle and have a double portion and then there be no change. They have a show that says, say yes to the dress. I want to say, say yes to the mantle. Prepare yourself. Get you out a pencil and a notebook, some notebook paper, something that you can keep together so you ain't got 10, 100 pieces of paper everywhere. You can get all back to school supplies are on sale. I need your, this is my dream journal. When you go to church, when you have your little, uh, men have their they little gym bag, maybe the women have your pocketbook or whatever you have, your backpack or whatever, put you a tablet down in there. This is for my prophecies. Expect God to speak to you. Expect when you get in your bed and, and you go to sleep at night, expect to dream. Write down your stuff so that you can keep up with it. And you can go back and put God in remembrance of God, you said. Because people are gonna call you. People are gonna see something on you, on you, even with your Facebook page, and people are gonna begin to call you and say, you know what, God showed me this. Your eyes begin to adjust. Head up our city. Your eyes are just to see the glory of God. That you can look at a person and see the anointing. And you can say, do you know that God, you, do you know such and such? And you'll be able to hear it in people's voice. Stop being ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because it's the power of God. To everyone that believes. Hallelujah. It's power. The word of God is power. And when you have your mental and you stand up and you begin to minister to people, you the more of the word of God you got in your belly the more of the word of God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. There are many watchmen. Hallelujah. Your eyes are coming open. You're seeing stuff. You're seeing stuff on the walls. You're seeing stuff on the floor. 
you see rooms inside the church and ain't no room over there. Hallelujah. Hora basataya. Watchman. On the wall. Head about Sata. God showing you things and you home in your bed sleep. And then you get there and you say deja vu, but it was God. Begin to look at the book of Ezekiel. Begin to go back and look at the prophets. Glory be to God. Head about Sata. Glory to God. Glory to God. Get you some music in your house. Head of our sata. Change your atmosphere. Head of our sata. You need to change. Hey, mama sata. I hear the Lord say you need to change your atmosphere. Glory to God. Speak into that atmosphere. And cause it to shift. Hey, head of our sata. Shift. Shift. Glory be to God. Cut them scary movies off. Jennifer's body. I spit on your grave. Cut that mess off. Hold on, boy. Shut You need to cut that stuff off. Hold on, boy. Shut la 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 Hold up, sa ta 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 ta. Hey, yes sir. Glory be to God. Hey, da ba sa ta. Glory, glory. Hey, da 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 da. Send it, send it, send it. Hey, God. Hold up, sa ta. In the name of Jesus. Hold up, sa ta. We bless you, Lord. We bless you. We bless you. Hey, da 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 da. Send da 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 sa ta. In the name of Jesus. Rise up. Get dressed. Take off those old garments. Ha ta sha ta 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 da 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 ba sha ta ya. Woo, make an exchange. Woo, yes sir. Yeah, da la la da ba sha ta ya. Take off the world and put on Jesus. Ha da 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 ba sha ta. Hey, yes sir. Glory be to God. Oh, get dressed, get dressed, get dressed. This is the time for you to get dressed, get dressed. Hey, Rabba Sataya, cause better days are coming. Better days, better, 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 better. This is not the end of it. Better days are coming. Better days, better days. Ha ta 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 ta. Hey, God, better days, better days, better days. Better, 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 better. Better, 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 better days. Better days, better days, better days. Better days, better, better, better. Better, better, hard about shit, no, 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 shata. Better days, better, 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 better. Hold about shata. Better days. Hallelujah. How can you neglect so good a salvation? Hard about shata, ta, 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 in the name of Jesus, hold up our shata. Oh, God, thank you. Begin to decree and declare the word of God in your house, over your house. Hear about Sata. You rise up, 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 rise, rise, rise up. Some guy took it. He said he was going to bring it to you. I think something fell off your truck. Uh, I saw a guy in a white SUV. Um, he went down that way somewhere with it. Uh huh. Yes, God. They had something on the fire truck, and when they turned, it uh, it fell off. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hey, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Rise up. Somebody needs you today. 
rise up. Hallelujah. You be somebody Superman. You be somebody Wonder Woman. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Rise up. Head of our satire. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Head of our satire. Somebody needs you today. Head of our satire. Oh, somebody needs what you got. Wonder Woman. Somebody needs what you got. Batman. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Head of our satire. Oh, my, 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 my. Glory to God. Have thine own way. Have thine own way. Have thine own way. Hold a basata. Hear a basata. Glory be to God. Hold a boshiki tarada basata tia sata ta 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 Pick up your mantle. Tell God, yes. Head of our satire. Glory be to God. Head of our satire. And hit and part those waters. And cross over on dry land. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And Elisha, he picked up the mantle. And he went and stood back at the bank of the Jordan. Head of our satire. And this is where a lot of church people are right now. Hold up, You've been told you had something. You somebody told you that you had something that you had this and you had that, or you had this, or you told yourself, or however. This is proving time, cause you standing at the Jordan, and he took Elijah's mantle. Hold up, It was a physical thing in his hand and he rolled it up and he said where is the God of Elijah and he smote the water with it he smote the water he smote it and the waters parted and he walked over and he didn't have to spend no time trying to convince the prophets of God that he had Elijah Mantle. They knew it because he was able to part the water. Glory be to God. You won't have to explain nothing to nobody because somebody going to be able to recognize it. Glory be to God. Horrible Shakaya. Glory to God. I just want to give you an example. I went to a church and when I got here and I didn't say nothing about being who I was or anything. And I was in this church and I went to church one Sunday, but before I went, the Lord let me know he got a word for you today. He's going to tell you, he's going to release a word for you. And so I went and I was waiting and the service was almost over. They had took the offering and everything. And God had him release that. Hallelujah. Cause he wasn't gonna release it. But he couldn't hold back what was for me. Ho basata. Glory to God. Hey, tarabasata. Glory to God. Hey, yes, sir. Glory, glory, glory. And he told me, God told me to tell you this and this. And what was funny was, the night before I was sitting on my bed and my eyes began to blink. Blah, 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 blah. They were blinking so quick. They were just clicking. They was, they, and I could see all of these like horizons of different colors and I could see all of this stuff and you know I wasn't scared I mean but my eyes were literally just clicking and I could just see flashes of light and different colors and all of that stuff because I knew it was God hey mama shata and so part of the word that God had told him to tell me was that God had, had did something with my eyes. 
and so there should be some type of confirmation in the name of Jesus. And so I begin to say, like, well, yeah, because, you know, and I let him finish what he had to say. And I say, well, yeah, I know God told you that because last night I was sitting on my bed and my eyes began to flash. I mean, you just, oh, my God, they were just click, just going so fast and I could see all different types of you know, like the skyline, sometimes you it's like a pinkish, then it might be a, a purplish hue to it. I could just see all kinds of colors and brilliant colors and everything. And see, because these are this is my mantle. These are my mantles. Something happens when you serve the men and women of God. God do something for you. Hold up Because the Bible says he gives us pastors after his own heart. Not the ones that we man, pick and choose. Right now, man, Lord, Lord, hey, yes, Lord. Hi. Yes, yes, yes. And I begin to my eyes. Horabasata. He kanamasata. Horabakasata. Glory be Horabasata. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Horabasata. Hey, yes, God. And I just want to let you know. To be encouraged. You might find yourself in an isolation spot right now. That's just because God wants to talk to you about you. About your mantle. What you carrying. Hear about Shataya. Hear about Shataya. Because many, many have been faithful. Many have been very faithful to other people's ministry. Faithful to other people's ministries. Glory be to God. For years and years and years. Can I tell you. That it's time for you to start some ministering. Glory be to God. Hear about Sataya. Hear about Sataya. Oh God. You might want to get you a Facebook account and start streaming Facebook Live, releasing the word that God gives to you. Hear about Sataya. Maybe you want to put it up on YouTube or Periscope. Hallelujah. But you need to find yourself preachers. You need to be preaching. God didn't save you, call you to make you a preacher to sit in nobody's corner and be nobody's cheerleading section. Glory be to God. Go to your pastor. Let your pastor know. I've got so much. And I know that you are the preacher here in the house. Yes, I thank you for giving me space to preach, you know. But let's just be honest. We don't have space for everybody to just fully unload everything that God has given you. So you're going to have to get out in the street. Stand in your corner. Square your shoulders back. Read your scripture and sing you a song. Hold you a sign that say Jesus saves. Glory be to God. There's all different types of forms of ministry. Glory to God. Find yourself being busy. Find yourself, find yourself, find yourself, find yourself being busy. Glory to God. Find yourself, find yourself being busy. Glory to God. Decreeing and declaring the word of God. Oh God, have on the whole armor of God. Yes, Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Build yourself up. Come out from among them and be separate. Dare to be peculiar. Stop trying to fit in with the world. You don't fit. Because your mantle, when you drop down, can you imagine Superman? Let, let me give you a parable. You like Superman dropping down in the mist. Of, a, of the den of Alibaba and the den of 40 thieves. Uh-huh. Yeah. That don't fit, right? So think about you and that, that, that mantle, that holy mantle on you. You drop down in the group of people trying to party and drink and party and get, and get their little orgies and stuff on and you sitting up in there. You don't fit. Uh-huh. That you don't fit because they trying to get their stew and you and they can't cause you in there 
and they are being convicted. When nobody don't like me, that's cause you in the wrong place. You in the wrong places. The world love is on. And the world know when you belong to there and when you don't. You saying with your mouth you belong. Hallelujah. But with your body, they know. They see the mantle. You may not see the mantle, but they see it. They feel it. They see it and feel it. Tear da da dia shanda. Oh, raba sita da da dia shanda. And they know it ain't. They know. Hallelujah. You in here trying to do the Cupid shuffle. And they just sitting looking at you. Because you marked. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Glory be to God. And the atmosphere has changed because you are sitting there with your mantle. And they came free to enjoy their fornications and the different things that they are doing. Glory be to God. Haraba city. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Haraba city. Late in the midnight hour, the Holy Ghost is working. Hallelujah, yea, God, in the name of Jesus. Whew. But Elisha picked up that mantle. He stood at the Jordan. And he said, where is the God of Elijah? And he smote the waters. And the Jordan parted and he crossed over. Glory be to God. And the, prop, the sons of the prophets were there. And it was about 50 of them. And they, they asked Elisha, they said, can we, can we go and look for him? And he told them no. Because see, he knew that he wasn't there. He knew that he had gone to heaven in the chariot of fire. Hallelujah. But they said, just in case God had picked him up and set him on a mountain or, or took him somewhere else and set him down. And they asked and they asked to the point that he felt, the Bible say that he was like ashamed. And he said, go look. And then they went and they looked for three days and they come back. They said, we couldn't find him. He said, didn't I tell you that the beginning, the beginning? But I'm talking about your mantle. That you see things before they happen. Uncle Becky, Aunt Becky died, but you saw it two weeks ago. I'm talking about the discernment, having discernment. I'm talking about seeing with your spiritual eyes, seeing things and places and people Hallelujah, traveling, your spirit traveling. Hey, yes, sir. Glory be to God. Walking in your mantle and your calling. This is a great thing because everybody don't have that opportunity. Can I tell you that you have mantles that other people wanted and, and didn't and wasn't allowed to have them? But God saw grace and favor upon your life and let you have it. Isn't that something? And now you just got it laying there. But it's waking up. It's waking up. And you're not going to have a choice now. And I bless God. I bless God today. Talking about that mantle. And begin to ask God to show you. God, show me someone that that show it show it to me so I can see what you're talking about. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Are you the one? Are you the Joseph in your family that's gonna lead your family to the to the land of promise? Are you going to be the one that restore wealth back to your family? 
will you be the one? Hallelujah. When the patriarch of the family dies, will you be the next in line? Hallelujah. And if so, will you be the Joshua to lead your family into the promised land? Into the things of God? Get your notebook, get your pencil, because you got some work to do. You got some work to do. Study, pray, listen, and write it down. Meditate. One of the best prayers you can pray at this time is God, show me me. Show me me. What will I be doing five years from now? Because this right here that we in, it ain't going nowhere right now, but it's going to let up. And then what will you be doing? Show me. Show me. There's going to be a great revival. Bishop Morton, he sing a song. Whatever you're doing in this season, please don't do it without me. Is that your cry today? Or is your cry, leave me alone, God, I don't want it. What's your cry today? Do you want it? Then let God know you want it. Desire to prophesy. Desire spiritual things. Stir up the gifts in the name of Jesus. Talking about that transfer of some mantles. And like I said, I see mantles. I see them falling. And I see them. I see like putting on a life vest. It's some of it's, it's some it's somebody's that mantle is your life, your life, your life vest where you think you're drowning. But it's your mantle that's keeping you afloat. It's your mantle that's going to bring you before great men and women. It's your mantle. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Embrace it. Make up in your mind to be everything that God intended you to be. My legacy is that I want to be everything that God want me to be. I want to win souls. I want to in, impact the kingdom. I want to impact this world. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And use everything that God has given me to use. You equipped today. You equipped. And I'm going to use this parable once again. All right, Black Panther, Iron Man, come on, Black Widow, the world needs you. The world needs the word that God gave you for them. Who can I help today, God? Who can I call today? If you're a teacher, you're supposed to be teacher. If you're a preacher, please preach. Cry loud and spare not. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Yes. Some people you're going to reach, you're going to have to pull them out of the fire and beat the fire off of their off of, off of clothes. That's how close they're going to come to hell. 
but you got a word that can save them. Yes, Lord. I'm sitting here there in the square and the building that you see in front of me is one of the fire stations. Glory be to God. Yes, Lord. You got a word for the, for the world. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Get up, get dressed, comb your hair and brush your teeth and let somebody know today, hallelujah, that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Maybe you set up under a leader and you will get that mantle. Maybe you'll get a mantle for somebody that you ain't even set up under. Maybe it's a grand, it's a relative, an ancestor that you don't even know. She, he or she may have been gone on with the Lord years before you was born. A Tim, Apostle Paul was telling Timothy about some gifts that his grandmother Lois had that he had passed down from his grandmother. It's time to do some checking. What is it that I got? Why do I do the things that I do, God? Hallelujah. And get to work. All hands on deck. It's time for everybody to get to work. Glory be to God. My, my bath cloth that I carry with me is just a regular bath cloth that I got. I think I paid about 50 cents for it. I had a scarf. And I used to, and, and I, God had me give it to an older lady. Hallelujah. Pray. Consecrate. I take it with me. I got it with me now. I get up in the night. I get up. If I happen to leave it up front, sometimes I get up in the night. I have to go get it. I hold it in my hand. Hallelujah. It's symbolic of my mantle. Glory be to God. So I'm finna, I'm finna get off, but I just want to let you know today. I see mantles being released and clapped on so that you can't shake it off. It's going to be with you when you eat and when you sleep, when you go to work and when you go to church, when you come home, when you cook food in the kitchen, it's going to be with you. You can't get rid of this. Hallelujah. Apostle Paul said many times, I am who I am by the grace of God. I want you to remember, you are who you are by the grace of God. Be who you are unapolog unapologetically. You don't have to, you don't have to apologize. Somebody asks you for a cigarette, you don't have to say, no, I'm sorry, I don't have one. I'm not sorry. No, I don't have one. Or just say no. No being a whole sentence. Not having to try to explain myself. Well, why did you tell her that? God, this is the word of the Lord. God said such and such. I ain't got to explain that to nobody. If you need more insight, then you need to go to God. Say what thus say the Lord and let it end there. You need any more? That's what I got. I'm empty. and got nothing else for you. You had to go to God. Because that's what we want. We want people to go to God for themselves. Because God is your source. He's your king. You're not, you, you're in the world, but you, you are now a spirit being. 
and the spirit world that you 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 travel hallelujah when you pray you praying from the position of the third heaven and you are looking down all principalities of darkness and devils and demons and doctrines and all of this stuff is beneath you all of it is under your feet because Jesus calls us to triumph hallelujah all of that stuff is under our feet because we are sitting in heavenly places with Christ Jesus far, far above all of these principalities. Go over there and look in Colossians. Look in Ephesians. Hallelujah. It's time for us to know the riches that God has given us. To not just be on the surface. But to know more in depth. To know more of the better and the deeper things of God. Yes, yes, yes. And that's some food for thought. From the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Glory be to God. And I thank you. And before I get off here, I want to say happy birthday to my nephew in North Carolina, Ramirez, Jeffries. I want to say happy birthday to Pastor uh, Lester Hester. And a pre-happy birthday to my, uh, my son, Arnold Beckley Sen um, Jr., which I call Johnny. That's my nickname for him. Uh, happy birthday. His birthday is coming up on the 8th. And I just say to everyone else that has a birthday, and I may not have called your name, happy birthday, and God bless you. Now, if there's a church that's open today, like I said, dependent, everybody's under different things with the, with the government as far as their orders, whether they can come out, have church, or whether they can't. But I wanted to give you that. God wanted me to give you that this morning about these mantles. Hallelujah. And like I said, the chains are broken and now the mantles have fallen because it's a process. It's a process. You are in a process and make sure that you understand this is not the end. This is just part of the process. The COVID-19 is not the end. The coronavirus, it is not the end. HIV is not the end. Cancer is not the end. Foreclosure is not the end. Divorce is not the end. Come on, that's not the end. The job, losing the job, that's not the end. It's just a process. See it for what it is. Keep your eyes to the hill because that's where your help comes from. Your help comes from the Lord. God is your source. He's your provider. He's your source. Look to God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Cast your bread upon the water. He will sustain you. Glory to God. For the Lord is our shepherd and we shall not want. God will take care of you. When you launch out there in the deep, God is launching people into the deep. Hey, yes, Lord. And I speak to your spirit. Get up from out of them shallow waters. For God has made you fishers of men. And I command your spirit to launch out into the deep. And let your net down for a drought. Oh, because he that wins souls is wise. Hey, God. Hey, God. By the authority and power invested in me, I launch you into the deep. He cut out of our satire. Hold up our satire. He cut out of my satire. Hold up our satire. Whoosh. 
I launch you into the deep. I know some people don't have coverings. Some people have coverings that don't launch people out into the deep. But I launch you out of the deep today by the power and authority invested in me by Jesus Christ. Oh God, you're going to go farther and, and farther and farther and farther. Hallelujah. There is a group of people waiting for you. They need what you got. Oh, yes, God. Yes, God. Oh, about satire. Mm. Some people, what you feel is the uproot. Hold oh, about satire. Hold oh, about satire. Glory to God. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord deliver us out of them all. Don't you know it's good that you was afflicted? You see things different now. You have compassion where you didn't have none. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Oh, yes, God. Rise up out of those ashes. Rise up out of that. In the name of Jesus. It wasn't designed to kill you. It was just a design for you to see where you were. Head about satire. To teach you how to about satire. How to stand and depend on God. How to about city. Hey God, in the name of Jesus. How to about satire. In the name of Jesus. Get up out of that place. How to about satire. You've been there too long. Hold about satire. The book then dried up. How to about city. Get up from out of there. Hallelujah. It's time for you to eat some strong meat. Ha. Yet about satire. Watching everybody else ministry and yours ain't going nowhere. God said it's your time. He da da satire. It's your season. Da 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 city. In the name of Jesus, you need to get with your pastor. Pastor, I need to be doing something. I need to be teaching God. I I, I need to, God has given me all of this. What am I gonna do with it? Heart of our satire. Glory be to God. Ha. Head of our satire. Ha. Well, Pastor, I was thinking about it. Ha. And the Lord put it in my heart. Ha. To go ahead and start me a YouTube channel huh, and start teaching the word of God huh, in the name of Jesus. Huh, I got to be found. Huh, hallelujah. Huh, doing the work of God huh, because only what you do for Christ is going to last huh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Huh. Glory be to God. Huh? Hey, because I'm supposed to grow up. You're supposed to grow up in the things of God. Yet huh? about satire. Huh? Oh, my God. Yet huh? about satire. Huh? The fivefold ministry equipping and teaching the church. Yet huh? about satire. Huh? And then those go out huh? and get others and bring them in. Huh? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yet huh? about satire. Huh? Glory to God. Huh? Yes, Lord. Huh? Get up out of that corner. Yet huh? about satire. Huh? I Stir up, ha, he da ba satire, ha, the gifts of the ministers today. He da 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 ba city. I stir your spirit up, ha, da 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 ba city. You will no longer be able to just sit in that corner and hide, ha, ye da ba satire, ha, oh, ba 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 city, da 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 satire. Get up out of that preacher corner, ha, get up out of there, get up off of there, ha, in the name of Jesus, ha, get up off that pew, ha, in the name of Jesus, ha, ye da ba satire, ha, and put your work clothes on ha in the name of Jesus ha yet a shakaya ha I stir up those corners ha God drop your anointing in them corners ha in the name of Jesus ha we got a dying world ha and you hiding in the corner ha in the name of Jesus ha you should be on the street preaching ha he said go to the highways and the hedges ha in the name of Jesus ha horaba shataya ha hey God in the name of Jesus ha and I didn't tell you ha to be disobedient ha to your leader, huh? but you better worry about huh? being disobedient to God huh? in the name of Jesus. Huh? Huh? People lying, huh? people stealing. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? Glory to God. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? The earth been shucking huh? in the name of Jesus. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? People looking for answers huh? and you hiding in the corner huh? in the name of Jesus. Huh? Mm. Let your anointing fall. Ha. Get out of that corner. Ha. In the name of Jesus. Get up out of city. Ha. In the name of Jesus. Get up out of You've been sitting there too long. Ha. You've been there 30 years. Get up out of And you can't even pass out a track. Ha. In the name of Jesus. Ha. Get up out of there. Ha. In the name of Jesus. Ha. I command your spirit. Ha. Rise. Get out of satire. 
Rise, 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 rise. rise. Hey, get up out of there. In the name of Jesus. Hey, God. God is soon to come. Hit up Shataya. You ain't done nothing. In the name of Jesus. You used to do this. But where is it at now? What have you done for God lately? In the name of Jesus. Get up. Use the gifts that he gave you. Hot about Shataya. Hey, God. All these people that need to be healed. All of these people that need to be set free. That need to be delivered. And you hiding in the corner. Go to church on Sunday and shout a little bit and prophesy to one another. But what you doing? Your work should be known in the gates. You should be out there in the field somewhere. Get you in front of a store. Preach in front of the library. Cry loud and spare not. In the name of Jesus. Hey, yes, God. It's time. It's time. A better days is coming. Better days. Better days. You got to get ready. Better days. Hey, about Satya. Glory to God. Hey, yes, God. Hey, about Satya. And you will not die. Huh? Put that pill bottle down. Huh? Put that needle down. Huh? Get up out of that bed. Huh? Hallelujah. Come up out of fornication. Come up out of there. Huh? In the name of Jesus. Huh? Cause the Bible says all unrighteousness is sin. Glory be to God. Head about Satan. Put on righteousness. The Bible said, Awake and put on righteousness. Hey, yes, God. Glory to God. Talking about your mantle hiding in the corner. He katapa city. He kata ta 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 ba sata. Hey God. Hora ba sata. Every witch in that city ought to know who you are. He kata ba sata. Well, the devil not bothering me. Well, I, well okay. Well, that's that's that part right there. Everybody in that, every every demon in that city ought to know who you are. Hora ba sata. They said, Paul, Jesus, I know, Paul, I know, but who are thou? Who are you? And they jumped on the seven sons of Sceva. Glory be to God. Hell ought to tremble. Demons ought to tremble when you get up in the morning. Hey, yes, sir. They see you coming to their town. They say, oh, my God, here she come. And they should go out to meet you. In the name of Jesus. I didn't say go out to stop you. I said go out to meet you. And start forming. Trying to figure out ways to keep you and block you. That's what happens when people are doing the will of God. That's what happens when people got mantles on. And they're operating in that. Glory to God. I ain't called to operate in your mantle. I'm called to operate, to operate in my Norton. Hey, yes, God. The more I do, the more he gives me to do. Because I ain't worried about it if you please. I don't care. I don't give a rat's behind today if Trump is pleased. I don't care who's pleased today. Mama can be pleased. Daddy can be pleased. Sister, brother, I don't care. As long as God is pleased, then I'm happy. Because he's the one. That can destroy the body and the soul. Glory be to God. He delivers. And I'm glad about it. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Stop playing. We ain't got time to have a form of godliness but denying the power. The Bible says from such turn away. Come from amongst them and be ye separate. You just one of the game. And now the, now the day you done laughed at every d dirty joke they done got. And the day you can't figure out why they won't see the word of God from you. You lie and you gossip so much. Nobody don't want to receive the word. Glory to God. You a dirty cup. God, I remember uh, visiting this church. And everybody was coming from everywhere. To see this man of God, God gave me a dream. And it was like we was at a buffet and it was packed. The buffet was packed out. 
it was packed out. All this food, it looked so good, laid out, and everybody had their plate picking this and picking that, and I saw a roach in it. What you saying, Susan? God would let me know it was contaminated, and people were just eating it. Because a roach is unclean. And it was just running all through the food. Do you see what I see? That's our question God is asking us today. Or are you so busy looking on the outside? Are you so busy looking through somebody else's eyes? Someone had died and they said, oh, that's a general. He gone home. Oh, he was this and he was he was a chief. He was this. And I said something and God said, who told you that? Had to think about that thing. Well, that's what it didn't have to really start thinking about that. You know, such a such. And I, but did you hear me tell you that? He said they built their own kingdom and they put him as their king. Now he's gone and I'm coming for them. You see? All these people coming and all these people. That, God said, that's, that, I didn't say that's who he was. That's who man said he was. Because it's something about when you live right. I can't say what that other person living. But I can say what I'm living. And he said, who told you that? Because you a prophet. And you a watchman. Did I tell you that's who that person was? Or is that what the masses said who, that he was? And if they said that's who he was, why didn't they, they didn't even do what he told them to do. And now that he, oh, he was this and he was this. These same people that gave him that, they built their own kingdom and chose him as their king. Can I just let you know all the kingdoms of the earth are being shaken. Many of them are falling. In the name of Jesus. He said, did I say that? That's what man said about him. Because they gave him that. Didn't say that he wasn't, he wasn't a man of God. Said, but that's the title that they gave him. That's the title. They gave it. Huh. Ain't that something? That's the title that they give you. You got to be careful when man gives you something. Because if you don't do, because they, when, they pull, they, when they pull your chain, they expect you to bark. And God said that I'm coming for the rest of them. See, because you, some people think that when, when, when those type of words come out, well, that person didn't drop dead right then. But you got to remember, you got a spiritual death. And God withdraw his hand from you. And allow you to do worse and worse evil. People holler about Bishop Long. But you sit in the church and you see what your pastor do and still won't say nothing. When are you going to rise to where you should be? Well, I don't want to hurt nobody. I don't want to offend nobody. Listen, everybody has a choice. You have a choice.
to serve God or not. With this new release, everybody have an opportunity to be free and be who they supposed to be in God. There would be no excuses. The church is in, in revival. There's a revival happening in prisons. Because when this thing let up, my, 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 I see black men. Now, don't get this thing twisted. I didn't see other men. I see black men. African-American men. Running. Running like a tidal wave. To God. Cry. What must I do to be saved? And I give God praise. Taking their rightful place in their homes, taking their rightful place in the community, taking their rightful place in the in the world, taking their rightful place in the kingdom. And I bless God for that. I bless God for that. I see a lot of churches wool being pulled off and they being exposed. They may not tell you, but the ones that don't go back to the altar and repent and get it right. Hallelujah, because this is the time to get stuff right. This is the time to repent. There's no need of us having to have is Iskabah written on our head. Because I don't know if you know it or not, time is winding up. And I don't know where you are, but I see, I see people's foreheads marked. There's a mark on everybody's forehead. And if, you're, if you don't have a mark on your forehead, then you are not sealed. Because when we get over in the book of Revelation, we see the, the, we see the Lord telling the angels, hold back. Let me, mark, let, me, let me go ahead and seal my people. Let me go ahead and, and mark them. It's time to get right. You might say this is a long post. It ain't half as I had. A, I'm gonna tell you like my pastor Dor Mitchell used to say. It ain't half as long as you got to stay in here. It ain't no longer than a movie. The Housewife of Atlanta probably lasts this long. Come on. But this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in this day. Glory be to God. Do some research. Get with God. Make things right. Find out what your mantle is. Find out what your anointing is. What is it that I'm supposed to be doing? And find yourself doing the work of the Lord. Remember, only what you do for Christ will last. Thank you. Have a blessed Sunday. This is August the 2nd, the year of 2020. This is Susan Bizzle, the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Hallelujah. The voice of the trumpeter. Hallelujah. God bless you and may God keep you and heaven may smile down upon you. Amen.